Welcome to a Feed the Beast Ultimate Pack tutorial. My name is Solomon, and today we're going to go over Cory's number two or Cory Guide number two. Last episode we went over we went over a lot of stuff actually. So check out Cory Guide number one to see exactly what parts you need. For this one, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to show you guys how to create the the Cory. In Ultimate Pack, it, it is damn hard to make a Cory. It actually makes you work for it. Uh, but once you get it, it's it's really nice. Um, to get a Cory, you're going to need three iron gear, which is really easy to make. You just got to look them up how to make them. Uh, you, you're going to need two gold gear, which is also easy to make. You're going to need two diamond gear. You just need mats for those. You can just look them up how to make. You're going to need one advanced circuit. Uh, it takes a little time, but uh, look it up how to make it and I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do that by now which is advanced solar panel just click on this and it will show you how to make it and you're going to need a diamond drill the hardest part of this whole thing is to create the diamond drill so let's step back a little how do you make the diamond drill well let's click on it let's see how it is Corey Q -E -R -Y. if you click on the diamond drill well, you're gonna need a mining drill. So let's before we even look at this right here, let's take a, check out the mining drill. For the mining drill, you're gonna need five steel plates, one electric circuit, and one RE battery. The RE battery and electric circuit, look it up how to make it. It's pretty easy. But the steel plate needs a little um, explanation. As you can see here, I already have some made, but I'll show you really quick. What you're going to need is these two machines to create this whole thing and I mean this these are the only uh, these are two hard ones that you need to make industrial blast furnace and a, a industrial electrolyzer electrolyzer yeah electrolyzer and you're also gonna need a plate bending machine but I'll show you that later for right now let's try to make these steel plates go to the industrial blast furnace you're going to need uh, one refined iron and I believe four coal dust to create one of these steel ingots. So my power contraps is kind of weird here, but you can do it any way you want. I'm just showing it for uh, demonstration purposes. Click on that and you'll see that this is uh, this is being created right now. You'll get you also get dark ashes, which I actually don't know what to use for, but you just get it as a byproduct. So let's see what happens when this finishes. You're going to need uh, four of them. So I just want to show you that when this happens, it will actually create um, the steel ingot. Take that. Now, on the last episode, we created something called a rolling machine. Click on that. I already have four ingots shown here. Um, all that we have to do is just click on it, and we'll start creating steel plates you're going to need five of them so you're going to need you know eight of them I guess and then um, after that you just come over here and you put the plates in and get the di uh, mining drill after you get the mining drill you need the diamond uh, diamond drill you're going to need three diamonds the mining drill that you just made in the middle one advanced circuit pretty you know it takes just a long time to make uh, you, see, you just have to farm the items for that and you can't see here because it's glitched out but you're gonna need uh, two titanium plate as you can see two titanium plate okay for the titanium plate we're going to need the industrial electrolyzer I said it right <laughs> right click the electrolyzer um, pretty much you're going to have to put an empty cell on the left side and a bauxite dust right here and just look it up how to make bauxite I think there's something called bauxite ores that you could actually make it into bauxite dust just look it up pretty easy uh, you put put these two in here and then the byproducts of these are aluminum dust this is what you're trying to get tiny pile of titanium dust um, don't care about these other two but you're gonna need this tiny pile of titanium dust okay let's see what tight uh, from the tiny you have to you're going to have to create a titanium dust and from the titanium dust you're going to put it in the industrial blast furnace just like over here and that that'll give you titanium ingots so once again let me run that through again so in order to create 
a titanium plate. First and foremost, go to the electrolyzer, put these two, get the byproduct of tiny pile of titanium dust. After that, uh, just shapeless crafting, you just put four of them together to create a titanium dust. And from the dust, when you have to put that into the industrial blast furnace, and they'll give you a titanium ingot. Awesome. You take that ingot, and you have to put it into a plate bending machine. Now, notice how um, those I'm using a 128 EU per tick. Right here, 128 EU per tick max output. Because these machines right here that we have, right? These could only take 128. Just uh, I'll I'll put some link uh, on the description because if you put anything higher than 128 on these, it'll blow up. Uh, likewise, if you put anything more than 32 EU per tick into this, that's why I have this bad bad box. This will blow up. So you don't want that to happen. Just uh, do some research, research, and you'll figure it out. Uh, for this, you're going to need two steel ingots for one plate. It's glitched out, so you're not going to be able to see it. Oh, sorry, wrong one. You can also make steel plates this way if you don't want to have the rolling machine, by the way. Put the titanium ingots in there, and that will create titanium plate. You're only going to need two, so I'm just going to take this away. And you just come back. The two titanium plates on each side with all these to the diamond drill and you should have everything here the diamond drill is definitely the hardest to create but after you create that it takes a lot of mats a lot of sweat a lot of farming into getting this and once you have that take the quarry and you're ready to go to the setup and that ends that episode, this episode right here. On the next episode, we'll set up a quarry around here somewhere. I have no idea where yet. But we'll set up a quarry and um, and show you how that process works. And once you set up a quarry, it's kind of so nice. You could start doing other things, like building one of those big-ass things. I don't know what that is, but a monster spawner that Jason built. But I hope this helped. If you have any questions, just... Uh, you know, the link below and please subscribe guys subscribes I want some subscribes see you guys